Hello everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Fire Emblem Path of Rent. My name is Billy12510. And last time we reached chapter 12. Oh, I have to read the I have to read starting off. Man. Okay, what do we got? Having narrowly escaped Dane's grass, the Grail mercenaries are pleased to feel the ocean beneath their feet as they set sail. That makes no sense. Whatever. According to Captain Nazar, the voyage to Benyon take roughly two months. Or not at all, because we're playing a video game, but whatever. Blessed with temperate weather, the ship's journey southward is smooth and steady. It passes the midpoint of its trip. The ship sets a course along the coastline and begins to head east. These seas belong to Phionisus and Kelvis, the kingdoms of the bird tribes. I think Shinon talked about this like back in chapter 6. Both nations prey on human vessels for supplies and wealth, and their flying corsairs are feared across the seas. Additionally, the southern portion of the continent contains the realm of the Dragon Tribe, the monarchy of Goldilla. That doesn't look terrifying. The country has remained isolated since its founding centuries past, preserving its closed culture behind a veil of mystery. It is these the Jews controlled waters that I can company me must now cross. Also, this next chapter sucks. Just letting you know. Chapter 12 A Strange Land. At least, that's not too big of an issue now. Eik. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention, we're on a boat now! Ask T-Pain to show up, but he never did. Asshole. Oh well. Guess we'll have to make do. So yeah. Toha. I hate those people. The discover of the goos, everyone just changed. They just changed, man. They seem like kind of decent people. No idea Bjork prejudice against the goose are so strong. Hmm. And can't honestly feel. So, apparently because we know these Lagoos, we aren't afraid of them. I guess that makes sense. Maybe we are the odd ones, the people who accept others as they are. Doesn't everyone want peace? Well, I guess not, because day in and all. Just bra bra bra, I'm gonna attack you just because you're inside Crimea. Anyway, hi Nazar. Dropping on. Why do you associate with the goose, Nazar? 
Why do you have such pointy ears? Besides the obvious financial benefits, I suppose I do so because I am one. <gasps> oh my god! He's not a lucky. <laughs> There's no tail or anything. Because I've chosen to live among Bjork, I've taken steps to make sure I'm not recognized. Changed my app, my attire, feeding habits, done a lot of things. How'd you do that? The Yus cannot survive in the, bleh, survive in the isolation, neither can Bjork. If both races are to thrive, they must learn to coexist. I've spent many years searching for a way to make this happen. Lagoos and Bjork can live together. For everything you must have seen, I'm impressed. Oh, by the way, we never saw this guy before. Not in, like, Chapter 3 or anything. Like, you'll never truly understand a matter unless you look at it from each party's perspective. As you say, Lagoos are indeed now persecuted by Bjork, but long ago those roles were reversed. Whatever happened in the past not justify what we do to the goose now. That is the thinking of an honest man. Keep things pure and simple. I like that. So, the strength of your conviction comes from your youth and your innocence. Trust me, it'll be tested. When your journey is over, how will you be changed? I pray your conviction is not lost to despair. Oh, what, did I skip something? Oh, well. I could... Almost paid me quite handsomely with money from... King of Galia himself, and I will not let him down. Going by so slowly, I'm kind of worried. Anyway, now that that's done... Hey, guess what? Battle summary! Yeah, um... So... Quick explanation. I had to redo the last chapter... But yeah, anyway, back to... Back to my explanation. I had to redo the last chapter off screen because I forgot to save. And Oscar basically went out and was a badass. So that's why he was MVP. <sighs> anyway, now that that's done. Um. Never thing. Where is she? Here she is. Um, reason why Marcia has an Elwyn tome in that house that got burned down in the last part, I actually managed to save it when I redid the chapter, and I got that Elwyn tome. Kinda gonna need it for this next chapter, not gonna lie. As for supports, the supports, not info. Nothing is different. Wait, I think Marcy and Rolf have them now. Yeah, they do. Um... Hmm. Do I want to waste on them now? Because I'm honestly... I honestly think I'm going to drop both of them at this rate. I don't know. Yeah, here's Oscar now. He's level 16. I was Boyd. Boyd? Boyd's gonna be the first one of my units to promote. Um, anyway. I'm not sure what I, what I want to really do. I guess I'll show off the info conversations first because I need to do those. There's one that's really important. It's one, this one. Boy. Uh, 
Ike, grab that boy! What? No more running. Ezra, who's this? Stowaway. Boarded its ship at Toha. Sneak aboard the ship. Not gonna talk? In that case. Like, there's no need to be so rough. I'm not gonna waste my time playing games with this urchin. You want me to let you go, open your mouth, and start talking? Ow! Quit it! I'll talk! That hurt! I thought you were gonna break my face. Well, what's your name? What are you doing here? I'm soft. Your personality became really bad in the next game. I'm a thief, but I didn't come on board the ship to steal anything. Stop scowling at me like that! You're making me uncomfortable. It's not just you. I always looks like that. Don't mind him, just keep talking. Really starting to get annoyed about all this. Anyway. Anyway, stop looking for someone. Doesn't know where this person may be. Family? Huh? Person you're looking for. Yeah, I mean, we're not related by blood or anything, but we're definitely family. Now you have the choice to aid Soft or not, and if you choose to do so, he joins your group. Alright, as my mercenary company will look after this boy, he won't be a burden to you or your crew. That's what you want to do, it's fine with me. You sure? You're gonna be put to work. I hope you're prepared. Sure, no problem. I'll, I'll do whatever you need. So, before I go on those other conversations, let's... Let's look at our new recruit. Let's not leave the base! Ugh, why is this fighting me? It's just fighting me for no reason. Here's Soft. I like how he has the same base speed as Volk does, and Volk's 10 levels higher than he is. Um, if you can get over the bad bases, and the fact that he doesn't promote, uh, Soft is actually pretty good. His growths are pretty good. Like, they're really amazing. He has a skill called Blossom, which means he gets less experience. But in turn, his, uh, his stat growth helps go up. Like, they're really crazy, even on fixed mode. Oh, they're... Base stats normally are pretty good. On fixed mode, his stats are even better. And on random mode, his stat growths are completely nuts. I have to put up three sets of stats for this one guy. It's amazing. Yeah, they're soft. I'm not gonna use them. I'm gonna use bulk. But... I don't know if I'll be using them in this chapter or not, anyway. Um... Or info. Speaking of Volk, Volk, right here. God, where have you been? You disappeared the moment we got on the ship. Don't worry about it. I'll be there when you need me. It's not me. It's my sister. You've never once shown up for a meal, and she thinks you're dying of hunger.
Did we ever eat together when we were on land? Alright, listen. Land, big. Ship, small. Not the same thing. I won't miss roaming the ship with a plate of food anymore, so please eat one meal a day with us. 100 gold. <laughs> You're going to charge me to make you eat. And that's more than you charge to pick a lock. Why? I don't like large groups. Bye. Call me if you decide it's worth it. Maybe I should just tell Mist he's dead. It's also worth noting Volk has a grand total of one support conversation. I think I mentioned this, but maybe not. Wait, right, let's speak to the Hark. You and I haven't had very many opportunities to talk tonight. You don't think you can trust me? No, it's not that. I'm just curious. I was surprised to see anyone in Toha who chose to fight on the side of the Lagoos. I joined the Toha Vigilante solely for the purpose of saving Lagoos. I'm not from Crimea, but when I heard, heard you had joined of Galia, I envisioned my perfect world. One in which the Lagoos could live normal lives, free of, a plur of oppression. However, when I came to Crimea, I found that things were no different there than in any Brio work nation before. It was the same for me. I couldn't allow myself to ignore these problems any longer. I'm happy to hear it. Of all the Bjork I've ever met, you're the only one who shares my conviction. Dark, is there some other reason you defended Lagoos? I don't follow you. You see, I was born in Gallia, or so I've been told. I just wonder if you had a similar reason guiding you. Of course I have my reasons. Would you be upset if I didn't want to discuss them? My reasons are extremely personal. No, that's no problem. I wanted a better understanding of what kind of man you are, and I have that now. Can I ask what that is? You're a good man. I'm glad to have you along. Glad to be here. I feel I'm finally able to do the kind of good I've longed to do for years. And one last conversation for the road. Hi, Ileana. <sighs> You're all kinds of sick, Ileana. I don't think I haven't noticed that. These traveling merchants, we sometimes use chips. Every time is the same. Did you travel with Mustin and the others for a long time? Four years, also. I just left home, I was all alone, and I couldn't find work. My hometown, I had so many people I could depend on, but once I left, everything changed. If Mustin's group hadn't found me by the side of the road, I'd probably be dead by now. Hmm. You seem to have led quite an adventurous life, it's a bit surprising. I get it a lot. I find it hard to imagine that you couldn't find work, though. Your magic skills are amazing. Aren't they, though? <laughs> I'm always happy when people notice. Whew. I feel so much better now. I'm actually starting to get hungry. I'm glad to hear it. Just stay above deck, and when you start to feel sick, look off at the horizon, alright? Oh boy, that was a lot to take in. So, I'm gonna do my base thing, and next time, let's play Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We'll take on Chapter 12. <laughs> See you all then.